why bury a rainwater uh, harvesting tank underground instead of using an above ground tank that could be more easily maintained? Okay, um, I think this um, customer appreciates um, that an above ground solution is certainly a lot more easier to install. Um, and of course, it's potentially cheaper in terms of its maintenance and servicing going forward. But I think the important thing with um, uh, there's probably three things I'd like to mention when we talk about underground um, tanks. Um, and the first thing I think is that we are putting the tank into a more controlled environment. Um, so the tank itself is not subject to UV. I mean, you could put your above ground tank in an area which is not susceptible to sunlight, of course. But of course, being underground, we're going to avoid um, avoid sunlight directly imposing on the tank. And with UV lights, not only, we, of course, we have um, increase in temperature. Um, and in with these two things, we generally um, help promote the growth of potentially some microorganisms in the underground tank. So being underground in a dark um, location, we are the temperature fluctuations are going to be minimalized. Um, so we, we are preventing the, the, the growth of these uh, microorganisms. Uh, but of course, when we talk about above ground tanks versus underground tanks, when we have an above ground tank, that's at floor level, it's going to be located somewhere. We get very decorative water butts um, this, these days that some people might make a feature of in their garden. I mean, we do a whole exclusive range of them. But of course, that water butt is also taking up space. Um, with an underground tank, of course, we have the tank fully submerged. We have our relatively discreet cover. I mean, it can be installed in a garden, it can go in the driveway. Um, so that space, which is otherwise potentially used for an above ground tank, of course, is underground. Um, and uh, can be used for the applications like potentially parking your car over the top of it. So I think that's something else that um, is a, a really big advantage to an underground tank versus above ground tank. Mm -hmm. And even though the above ground tank could be from a um, from kind of rural perspective, that could be more easily maintained because it's above ground, that might not necessarily be the case because with an underground rainwater harvesting system, like we mentioned earlier with the Eco Plus system, that's an external um, basically control element. Mm -hmm to the tank, which is more easy to maintain yes. as it is anyway. Yes. Um, there, there, I think it's important for people to, cons to consider all options um, whenever we talk about any sort of solution. I mean, at the end of the day, the customer is paying um, their good money to implement a solution. They need to implement a solution which is going to best suit their requirements. So just um, going online and picking the one that um, you think looks the nicest, by all means, please do that. But Take a back step back. Think about where it needs to go in the yeah. garden. Um, what you're going to use it for. Do you want to use it in the winter months of the year? Um, all these sorts of things. You need to properly understand um, that rainwater solution and what applications you want to use it for. And then, of course, best the one that's going to basically be most suitable, that ticks all your boxes, and then you'll be in a much better position going forwards.